Dear Heavenly Father, let the words of Psalm 51 be my heart's cry today. Create in me a clean heart, O God, renew a loyal spirit within me. Lord, I feel weighed down by sin in my life. Please help me find freedom as I seek your forgiveness today. Forgive me for allowing sin to take hold. Thank you for the promise that you will not reject a broken and repentant heart. You sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins so that I may be forgiven. I praise you for that incredible gift, Lord. Please accept this prayer of repentance as I turn away from sin and bring my brokenness to you. I thank you because I know you will make me whole again. Lord, I know your word says in Psalm 103 verse 11 to 12, For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Dear Heavenly Father, when I committed my life to your Son Jesus and asked him to come to live in my heart, you forgave me for my past sins. I am grateful for that forgiveness, but sometimes those memories resurface. I feel guilty over any pain I caused and struggle to forgive myself. Help me to understand that I am a new creation. You removed the old and created something new in me. I give you praise for this awesome gift. According to Psalm 32, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you. In a time where you may be found, surely in a flood of great waters they shall not come near him you are my hiding place you shall preserve me from trouble and you shall surround me with songs of deliverance i will instruct you and teach you the way you should go i will guide you with my eye do not be like the horse or like the mule which have no understanding which must be a nest with a beat and brittle else they will not come near you many sorrows shall be to the wicked but he who trusts in the lord mercy shall surround him be glad in the lord and rejoice you righteous and shout for joy all you upright in heart jesus i believe you love me please forgive me my sins help me to be a better person my god i am sorry for my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good i have sinned against you whom i should love above all things i firmly intend with your help to do penance and sin no more and to avoid whatever leads me to sin according to the book of psalm 100 verse 5 for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations Dear Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you today recognizing my shortcomings and mistakes. I am overwhelmed by your mercy and grace and I seek your forgiveness with a contrite heart. Lord, you are the source of all compassion and forgiveness and I rely on your steadfast love to cleanse me of my transgressions. According to the book of Psalm 94 verses 17 to 19. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul would soon have settled in silence. If I say, my foot slips, your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comfort delights my soul. In this book of Psalms, I find solace and guidance in the prayers of forgiveness. The psalmist's words resonate deeply within me, reminding me of the power and importance of seeking your forgiveness. Just as the psalmist cried out to you in times of distress, I too pour out my heart before you, seeking the cleansing and restoration only you can provide. According to the book of Psalm 147 verse 11, the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his mercy, 
forgive me Lord for the times I have turned away from your commandments I confess my sins and acknowledge the ways in which I have fallen short I have allowed pride to blind me, anger to consume me, and selfishness to guide my actions. I have spoken words of hurt instead of words of love, and I have harbored bitterness instead of extending forgiveness to others. I have neglected my responsibilities and failed to love my neighbor as myself. Lord, forgive me for these transgressions and wash me clean. According to the book of Psalm 86 verse 5, For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, and are abundance and mercy to all those who call upon you. Lord, as I reflect on the psalmist's plea for forgiveness, I am reminded of your boundless mercy. You are slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Even in my darkest moments, you extend your hand to lift me up and guide me back onto the path of righteousness. Your forgiveness is a gift beyond measure and I am grateful for the opportunity to receive it. Help me, dear Lord, to truly repent and turn away from my sinful ways. Grant me the strength to resist temptation and to live a life that is pleasing in your sight. Fill my heart with your spirit that I may walk in obedience to your will and be a vessel of your love and forgiveness to others. According to the book of Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. In your presence, O God, I find comfort and healing. You are the great physician who binds up the wounds of my soul and restores me to wholeness. When I am weary and broken, you gently carry me and breathe new life into my weary bones. Thank you for your healing touch. For in your presence, I find rest for my weary soul. Guide me, O Lord, in the paths of righteousness. Lead me beside still waters and restore my soul. Help me to walk in your ways and to follow your commands. Give me the discernment to know the difference between busyness and true productivity, between restlessness and divine peace. Let your Holy Spirit be my guide, leading me into the abundant life that you have promised. The noise and distractions of this world help me to find silence and solitude in the quiet moments I hear your still small voice speaking words of comfort and reassurance. Help me to tune out the clamor of this world and to listen attentively to your gentle whispers. In the silence, I find rest for my weary soul. According to the book of Psalm 131 verse 2, But I have stilled and quieted my soul like a wind child with its mother, like a wind child is my soul within me. I come to you, Lord, seeking rest for my troubled mind. The worries and anxieties of this world weigh heavily upon me, but I know that in you I can find peace. Help me to cast all my cares upon you, knowing that you care for me. Lord, I confess that I often seek rest in the wrong places. I chase after the empty promises of this world, thinking that they will bring me satisfaction and fulfillment. But they only leave me empty and longing for more. Forgive me, O God, for my misplaced priorities and my failure to seek rest in you alone. Lord, I thank you for the gift of rest. In a world that never stops and constantly demands our attention, you invite us to find refuge in your loving arms. You promise to give us rest when we are weary and burdened and you are faithful to your word. Thank you for the restorative power of your presence and the peace that surpasses all understanding. As I journey through this life. May I never lose sight of the importance of finding rest in you. Help me to prioritize my relationship with you above all else and to seek your presence daily. During my struggles and challenges, may I always remember that you are my refuge and my strength, Lord. In you, I find true rest for my weary soul. According to the book of Psalm 16, verses 1, 9 to 11. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. Therefore, my heart 
heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body will also rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I lift my voice to you, O God, for you alone are my refuge and my strength. In the chaos and busyness of life, I come to you seeking rest for my weary soul. You are the source of all peace and tranquility. And in your presence, I find solace and renewal. Hear my prayer, O Lord, as I pour out my heart before you. In the storms that rage around me, I find refuge in your loving embrace. When the winds of adversity threaten to sweep me away, I cling to your promises, knowing that you are my anchor in the storm. Give me the strength to trust in your unfailing love, for you are my rock and my fortress. According to the book of Psalm 3, verses 3 to 6, but you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry out, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. O oh Lord, my soul longs for rest, for refuge in the midst of life's storms. In the chaos and busyness that surrounds me, I seek solace in you. Hear my prayer, O oh God, as I pour out my heart before you. You are the source of peace, the giver of rest. In your presence, my weary soul finds refuge. When the pressures of life weigh me down, you lift me up on the wings of your love. You calm the storms that rage within me and bring stillness to my troubled heart. Teach me, O oh Lord, the true meaning of rest. Show me that it is not found in the accumulation of wealth or in the pursuit of worldly success, but in the surrender of my heart to you. Help me to let go of my striving and to trust in your provision. Open my eyes to see the beauty and wonder of your creation, that I may find rest in the simple joys of life. I offer this prayer to you, O oh God, trusting in your faithfulness and your love. May it be a psalm of rest and renewal, a song of praise and thanksgiving. Lord, I come to you weary and burdened, longing for the deep rest that comes from being in your presence. Help me to lay down my burdens at your feet, trusting in your unfailing love and care. Fill my heart with your calming presence and grant me the serenity that comes from resting in your embrace. Let my worries and anxieties melt away as I focus on your goodness and faithfulness. Guide me to find solace in your word, to meditate on your promises, and to draw strength from the truth of your love. Remind me daily that you are in control, that your plans for me are good, and that I am safe in your hands. Strengthen my faith and help me to rest in the assurance that you are with me, providing for my every need and guiding my every step. Lord, as I face the demands and pressures of life, grant me the rest to find moments of stillness and quiet where I can be refreshed by your presence. Teach me to rest in you, to trust in your timing, and to find my peace in your unchanging character. Help me to remember that true rest is found not in the absence of trouble, but in the presence of the Almighty. Thank you, Lord, for being my refuge and my strength, my ever-present help in times of need. I surrender my restlessness to you and ask for your peace to fill my heart and mind. May your Holy Spirit guide me, comfort me, and lead me into the restful assurance that comes from knowing you. Let your peace, which transcends all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Father, I pray not only for myself, but for all who are weary and burdened. May they also find their rest in you. Surround them with your love. Draw them into your comforting embrace and grant them the peace that only you can give. Use me, Lord, as an instrument of your peace to share your love and rest with others. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters and he refreshes my soul. 
Lord, you are not just a good father, but also a great shepherd. And as a great shepherd leads his sheep to peaceful pastures and quiet waters, so will you do to my spirit every time I want to lay down. In you, I know that I will find rest and my spirit will be renewed even as I close my eyes to sleep. Nothing shall take away my sleep and peace of mind. I am safe and secure in your arms. According to the word of Psalm 121 verses 3 to 4, he will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, in the darkest hours of the night, when I am most vulnerable and weak, I am assured that you are always watching over me, staying vigilant so that no harm will come to me. I thank you because you neither slumber nor sleep just to keep me safe. Your word shall never break, neither will you alter that which has proceeded from your mouth concerning me according to the word of psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in whom i trust he will cover you with his feathers and under his feathers you will find a refuge. His faithfulness shall be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. Like a protective parent, like a mother hen protecting her chicks, you cover me under your feathers, shielding us from all attacks of the enemy and the terrors of the night. I don't have to be afraid because I am perpetually dwelling in your shadow. According to the word of Psalm 3 verses 5 to 6, I lie down and sleep and I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though ten thousands assail me on every side. I certainly will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who gang up against me when I am asleep at night because you, my father, sustain me with your mighty hands. According to the word of Psalm 16 verses 7 to 8, I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I will keep my eyes on you always because with you at my right hand, I will not be shaken even when I am asleep. Your counsel will remain with me. According to the word of Psalm 139 verses 11 and 12, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day for darkness is as light to you. Lord, this psalm fills me with the hope and assurance that there's nothing that happens in the dark that you don't know about. So even when the enemy tries to hide in the dark to harm me at night, you see it and you will rescue me. According to the word of Psalm 127 verse 2, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat as a grand sleep to those who he loves. Lord, toiling and hard work can sometimes hinder me from sleeping, but you have made it clear that those you love, you will certainly grant sleep because I know you love me. Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You have told me to be still and know that you are God. I release my burdens and anxieties to you. Please be exalted above all these and lead me to a peaceful sleep. Psalm 121 verses 5 to 8, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Lord, you have promised to be my shade at my right hand. And I know that both during the day and at night, you are always watching over me. I don't have to be afraid of whatever has been programmed to the moon and to the sun to harm me. Psalm 91 verses 14 to 16 Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, I call on you. Please deliver and satisfy my weary soul. Please protect me even as I lay down to sleep. And every time I call upon you, whether during the day or late at night, Lord, please answer me. 
according to the word of Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2, 5 to 8, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Lord, with you by my side, I know I will find rest for my soul as I close my eyes. Help me to trust in you that you will see me through the night and I will wake up refreshed and restored. All these I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. I command your bones, tissues, organs, and systems to come into alignment with God's original design for you. Receive the Creator's thought over your frame. He formed you wonderfully and knows how to realign anything I miss. I call forth the revival of life to flow through you from head to toe right now. Where there was weakness, catastrophe, or deterioration, I declare newness of life by the Holy Spirit. He makes all things new, so I say, cells regenerate inflammation subsides nerves reconnect and fibers mend under heaven's healing rays be made whole I declare by faith that you are already healed by the stripes Jesus took upon his back according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24 that includes every emotional spiritual and physical wound you carry Christ bore your sickness so you can bear his healing I call for the manifestation into the nature of what he finished at the cross health and wholeness permit you now from crown to soul I decree the words of Psalm 103 over your life who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy every condition stemming from generational curses personal sin and trauma is cleansed by the blood of Jesus I declare your body healed and delivered I command all infections and infirmities to leave your body now in Jesus name receive supernatural antibiotics attacking every virus and harmful bacteria according to Luke 13 verse 12 crippled hands are released restored vision and hearing every missing limb will be replaced as you continue to seek the Lord in faith I call forth divine restoration of robbed health and lost years what the enemy meant to destroy through affliction will become testament of God's goodness. The Lord balances every scale, tilting favor and blessing your way. As with Job, he will bless your latter days even more than your former. Receive abundantly above all that you can ask or imagine. I declare that through faith and patience, you will inherit every promise of God. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Persevere in prayer and stand on his word. Though healing takes time, his spirit brings comfort, hope and strength for the journey. It will bring it to pass right on schedule. I decree divine connections leading you to people to bring breakthroughs, whether supernatural healing or practical help through medicine and physicians. Receive it. Let no pride or false doctrine block what God wants to do. His methods are infinite. His healing often gradual. Hold fast to his hand through the process. Wellness awaits. I command all genetic weaknesses that empower sickness to bow to the name of Jesus reversed by his healing blood Jesus bore our sicknesses and carried our pains so we can walk in divine health and wholeness by his stripes he will be made whole spirit soul and body I call forth inner healing and deliverance from trauma abuse loss and grief that open us to sickness Holy Spirit Take us back to access painful memories this child of God carries. Calm as the comforter, bringing perspective and cleansing. Exchange pain for joy, mourning for gladness. Beloved, see the Lord's goodness in your affliction. He promised to use all things to work together for our good as we submit to his working. What the enemy meant for harm, God turns to holiness as we yield trials to him. Our light afflictions now achieve eternal glory. This test will give tremendous testimony up ahead. Through this sickness and suffering, God develops perseverance, character and hope in you. 
You will shine as an overcomer, displaying his victory and faithfulness. The trials of many will be comforted through your journey. His strength is shown perfect through human weakness and need. Ask him for grace to rejoice in this divine process. I declare that nothing separates you from the love of Christ, not even pain and infirmity. According to Romans 8 verses 35 to 39, if he ordains for this thorn to remain, take heart, his power rests upon you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Ask him for sufficient grace to carry out the cross and sufficient faith to believe still for healing. He is worthy of praise in it all. I decree that those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though healing tarries, take heart, they are one. God collects every tear, filling his bottle of remembrance. None fall fruitless to the ground. He will turn weeping into gladness, sickness to health. On that day, none will be able to curse, for he makes all things new. I command every negative word, curse, lie or accusation sent your way to dissolve under the power of God's word and the healing blood of Jesus. Let no word of death take root in your body. Cast down thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ. Stand on his finished walk at the cross with patience and confidence, knowing that it will bring it to pass. I call forth a new habitation place for his spirit to dwell. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead comes to fortify your body as a temple of the living God. What was damaged or defiled is fully restored. Receive strength beyond your own to walk out this healing daily through his enabling grace. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Beloved child of God, behold the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Set your gaze upon the one who heals. The spirit within brings life to your mortal body as a down payment of future glory. Allow his resurrection power to flow freely to every place needing restoration. You shall live and not die. Wellness is here. I declare that you are no longer under the curse of the law, but redeemed to receive Abraham's blessings. Christ has redeemed you from sickness, poverty, spiritual death, and the curse of sin that plagues this fallen world. Receive everlasting life and wholeness in the eternally secured inheritance of God's children. I decree deliverance from spirits of infirmity that empower sickness and disease according to Luke 13 verse 12. Receive freedom in mind and body now from all effects of trauma, substance abuse, and chronic conditions keeping you weighed down this many years. What Holy Spirit is reviving cannot be bound up again. I command all negative soul ties, feeding darkness to be severed now by the sword of the Spirit. Receive deep spiritual cleansing as the Holy Ghost fire burns through roots of iniquity passed down generationally. The sins, trauma, and twisted covenants of the fathers and mothers dissolve under the blood of Jesus. You are free. I call for spiritual biomarkers revealing the root causes of symptoms and conditions plaguing you. Holy Spirit, Unveil hidden sources feeding this affliction, whether trauma, generational curses, environmental toxins, or lifestyle choices keeping darkness empowered. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in the grant, wis grant wisdom and strategies for walking in divine health. I declare that death and sickness have lost their sting since Christ conquered sin and the grave. Though this body may waste away, you have an eternal house prepared by God, not built by human hands. His resurrection life lifts you beyond mortal constraints of deterioration, sickness, and aging. I decree that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength as eagles. As you wait on Him for healing and breakthrough, equip yourself through studying the healing covenants and promises of God. Retest testimonies of saints who persevered by faith and prayer to receive. Ask for fresh fire to stand through every hardship along the way. I command all lingering generational illnesses stemming from familiar spirits to be severed at the root now by God's healing word. Causes of cancer, disorders, heart diseases, and early death be reversed and lifted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Step into generational blessings of longevity and divine health prepared for you. I call forth hunger in you for Christ, the true bread of life. 
As you feed deeply on his living word, revelation and intimacy grows with God. Receive fresh perspective, shifting focus from symptoms and limitations onto the healer himself. He sanctifies every struggle using trials to unveil more of his glorious nature. Rest in his abiding presence filling you now. Beloved, though flesh and heart fail, God remains the strength of your heart eternally. When faith or patience runs low, cry out to him for fresh oil to persevere. Worship the healer even from this pit. Allow his spirit to come forth and carry hope, restoring joy and vision bit by bit. He walks divinely through each season. When you yield all to him, I declare that those who honor God, they will honor. Humble yourself under his mighty hand and in due time he will exalt you with wholeness healing and a new life take on the heart of a servant leaning to love compassion and kindness for others while standing for your healing this brings breakthrough upon breakthrough i decree that you will live and not die and declare the works of the lord as psalm 118 verse 17 declares even if he ordains more waiting know that god holds your life secure in his hands he remains intimately close as your soul's high tower let him hold your heart gently as you wait patiently on his perfect will. I command all delays, setbacks and hindrances against healing to be removed now in Jesus' mighty name. Whether spirits of affliction, lack of resources or revelation, I declare the way clear for divine turnaround. As you take steps forward, Lord, meet this child of God with demonstration of your power according to your word. Breakthrough is here now. I call forth lasting freedom from addiction and perversion, opening the door to recurring affliction. Receive merciful release from self-medication, ungodly relational bonds and practices defiling the temple of God's spirit. Trade shame and secrecy for healing as Christ's light permits hidden places of pain. Go and see no more, says the healer who makes all things new. I join you in praise to God, child of God. Rejoice, you are made completely whole. Receive strength in your bones and joy unspeakable shining through each day. Victory, health and favor surround you. Worship the Lord with all that is within you for he has delivered you from the pit and crowned you with loving kindness. Surely his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. You are healed forevermore. Amen. Dear Father, we come in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, your Son, who conquered death more than 2,000 years ago, knowing that our prayers are already answered. I come against any assignment embarked upon or giving of premature death targeting your life right now in the name of Jesus I speak Psalm 118 verse 17 over your life that you will live and not die and declare the works and glory of the Lord in the land of the living as David confessed the snares of death encompassed him and torrents of destruction overwhelmed him but in distress he called on the lord who answered him and brought him into a spacious place i declare you shall not die but have a long life and see the goodness of the lord to the very end i also pray psalm 91 over you that you who live under the most high and almighty's shadow god alone being your refuge and fortress will be delivered from the perilous pestilence and deadly plague a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. No evil shall conquer you. No scourge shall overwhelm your tent. You shall witness the reward of the wicked and see God's salvation with your very eyes. Beloved child, I declare Isaiah 38 verse 5 over your life, which says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. Receive extension and increase over your days, just as Ezekiah did. When death came knocking prematurely, the Lord shall make the sun's shadow go back 10 steps on the stairway of Ahaz. You shall yet praise him with stringed instruments all the days of your life in the temple of the Lord. I call forth Psalm 118 confessing, I shall not die but live and recount the works and wondrous words of God. 
death has no claim over you, only life and peace in the spirit. The sting of death is sin, and Christ has conquered both grave and sin, sealing your eternity with his own blood. I declare the preserving power of the blood covenant, ensuring ensuring no weapon from the gates you prospers and no plague destroys your dwelling beloved child like job i stand in the gap and build a head of protection around you your household and all that pertains to you i forbid any devil disaster or disease from crossing that bloodline to touching your body or life before ordained time i dispatch angels to guard you in all your ways bearing you up lest you dash your feet against a stone let the fire of the holy spirit spirit and camp as a wall of fire around you. I speak supernatural reversal and repel of any death sentence or premature end spoken over your life by intention or prophecy, whether by medical verdicts, word curse, spiritual divination or legal judgments. Like when Mordecai uncovered Haman's sinister plot to annihilate the Jews, I expose the operations of darkness and cancel their contracts. No weapon formed against you shall succeed, and you will nullify every tongue that rises against you in condemnation or cause. For you are a child of the Most High God, brought for a great and glorious purpose. I declare that Jesus came to give you life more abundantly, a rich and satisfying life, pouring out blessings into eternity. The Good Shepherd attends to you through death's darkest valley shadow, his rod and staff driving away all fear and despair. His table of feasts awaits in enemy's presence, his oil of joy refreshing your face. Only goodness and unfailing love pursue you always into his house forevermore. Precious child like Lazarus, even if sickness leads to death, God shall yet have the final word and resurrection power to restore life and earth. Whether by miracle manifestation or through ultimate heavenly healing, deliverance shall belong to you. God shall wipe away every tear and transform ashes back to beauty again. Beloved one, I stand in agreement with the psalmist confession in 31 verse 15, my times are in your hand. Your days, weeks and years unfold under his sovereign design. Trust him to complete all he has started within you on this side of heaven. Then welcome you joyfully home when final breath draws near in appointed time. I speak Isaiah 65 verse 20 over your life that at 100 years you shall still bear fruit and prosper under lengthy days. Set your gaze beyond temporal troubles to the unseen eternal weight of glory prepared for you. Allow this magic magnificent hope to renew strength and anchor soul through storms nothing passes his sight love ever remains working all things for good for those who answer his upward call i release resurrection life and power over areas of affliction and disease in the mighty name of jesus by his stripes you are healed i forbid this sickness leading to any further foothold of infirmity or untimely death I declare the preserving work of the great physician who heals all diseases upon you now. In Jesus' name, rise up healed, whole and restored. I paralyze the activity of any deceiving spirit impersonating diseased loved ones, appearing to draw your soul out of alignment with truth or lure you into occultic practices outside God's will. I break these deceptions of your life in Jesus' name. May your feet remain steadfast on the rock as you stay rooted in scripture and covenant with Christ alone as intermediary between heaven and those on earth awaiting his return. Beloved child of destiny, I declare the shield and armor of Psalm 5 verse 12 over your life. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as a shield. Set your gaze ahead on the joy set before you to finish your cause and ministry whole and strong. Allow no people, disease, disaster or spirit of death rob remaining years of experiencing his goodness. Stay vigilant against bitterness as God writes brightest endings born of deep trust and surrender. Yours is the kingdom in all its fullness. Walk boldly into broad places prepared to drink deeply. Beloved child of promise, I call forth 
divine turnarounds over medical diagnosis declaring shortened life expectancy or disease progression leading to premature death receive grace mercy and wisdom for navigating uncharted waters ahead may faith arise to walk on stormy seas through pain's mystery fix eyes on the healer's face nothing fails outside his redemptive plans where hopeless prognosis looms god specializes in supernatural intervention redirecting impossible outcomes jesus endured death marching toward resurrection certainty so shall you cross into greater glory through momentary light afflictions preparing an incorruptible crown reserved for those discovering single eye vision witness from above shake loose all that entangles feet from rolling tirelessly as one raised with christ detach completely from outcomes here reattach heart posture onto full obedience receive fresh download of kingdom perspectives i seal this prayer over you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus the resurrection and the life by the power of his blood that has ransomed your life from destruction i forbid any weapon formed against you to prosper now and all your days ahead search forward mightily into all your good father has prepared for you the enemy will not prevail you'll finish your race strong in the center of god's glorious unfolding story in jesus name we have prayed 